All right, so a lot of people have asked me, what do I do to clean my RCs after they've become muddy? Uh, especially when I'm out and it's been raining and I've got lots of grit and grime. I just finished the uh, uh, last video I did on the Destined for Dirt fabrication roll cage here, as you can see, and listen to my shocks. <coughs> Lots of dirt inside the shocks, lots of dirt inside the whole chassis. In fact, you see my back differential inside the tires. Everything is quite filthy, actually. Now, maintenance and cleaning on your radio control vehicles, especially your trucks that you have in the water and the mud, is essential. A lot of guys already know that, but there's a lot of new people to the hobby. So I want to say and, and, and really reiterate that you need to be removing the water once you do something like this, whether it's waterproof or not, waterproof, uh, water resistant is what a lot of manufacturers will say because the bearings on the inside will rust out if you leave water. Uh, on the drive shaft, the bearings will rust if you leave water, that kind of thing, right? So I don't mind using water on electric RCs. I say do so at your own risk, but I know I'm not going to run it long enough to have it all dry and re-lubricate it again before I attach a battery to it. No electricity, no problem with water. <laughs> Basically how I look at it, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead, turn on the, the hose. I'm gonna get out a scrub brush, a little bit of uh, water and elbow grease. We should have this cleaned up right away. Now the Traxxas Slash 4x4 is already water resistant. It does have uh, water resistant electronics. As far as to say waterproof, their electronics are actually fantastic. Their servos are waterproof. Uh, the ESC is waterproof. But again, any exposed metal, if you've changed out your drive shafts to MIPs or what have you, you've got to make sure to remove all that water. But while you're getting it all cleaned up, don't be afraid to fill it full of water, in my opinion, I guess. I haven't had too many troubles. RPM arms on the bottom of this machine here. So waterproof tracks this 2075 plastic gear servo right there. RPM rear arms. Also, I've got aluminum hub carriers. I just went through the whole Destined for Dirt uh, roll cage uh, durability testing and I didn't break a single part. So I'm happy with that. I can access everything as you can see, get into the ESC. I want to clean inside everywhere I can. Getting out all the mud on the inside of the rims. Why would I do that? Well, if you have mud building up inside the rims, it's going to create a heavy point when the tire is spinning, right? And it won't be properly in balance, which causes an issue when you're driving, trying to line up straight for jumps or whatnot. Now, if I wanted to be really detailed, I'd go in there with a the brush and get in there, uh, get all the mud out from in the spokes, but not necessary today. It wasn't very sticky mud. It was more dirt that was damp that I got into. All right, so for the suspension, I'm gonna be using some Moo Clean from Cal RC. Um, it's actually a great product for getting in, cleaning the dust and dirt and debris off of your uh, shocks and gears, your electronics for sure. This is safe to use on your electronics. Just getting in there to make sure anything I was picking up might be removed. Picking up off the course, of course. Turn it around, oops. Slippery fingers. Gonna get those shocks, get the shock shafts. It, this evaporates very quickly. I'm actually gonna show you up close what it's doing here. See, can I find a dirty spot? Yeah, sure. On the shock, check it out. Now you can see the shock up close. There's actually quite a bit of dirt in there. Just gonna blast that off, immediately gone. Beautiful. No problem there. Now I'll do the back shocks just to make sure. And drive shafts as well. Doing the back shock to make sure. 
in the drive shaft as well, both sides, just to be fair, of course. You certainly don't have to use a cleaner. I choose to only because I know it works really well for this kind of soil that I'm surrounded by. You don't have to use a solvent. You can certainly use a soap and some scrub brushing, uh, you know, just to remove the dirt. And you can use some normal compressed air in a can. I just happen to have a compressor. It's essential with as many RCs as I do to have a good compressor to blow all the excess water away from the bearings. Nice and easy to clean. Flip it over so you can see. Okay, I've done an extra good job of making sure that most of the water is removed from the vehicle. That is essential. Now, I am going to be using another Cow RC product called Moo Slick. <laughs> Moo Slick is, uh, a, a, as it says right here, a silicone protector. It dries, uh, uh, it, it forms a dry dirt repelling film. Ideal for all exposed gears, cor uh, repels corrosion and dirt, and great for suspension parts. So, this is going to get a uh, spray of silicone spray. You can use WD-40. It just doesn't dry like this does, so I choose to use it. WD-40 is just as fine though. I try to stay away from the penetrating oils uh, only because they can start attracting a lot of dust. And once you get dust, uh, you know, touching something wet, then of course it becomes mud. So I'm going in, getting most of my bearings on the wheels. Getting the drive shafts on all four corners and onto the shock shafts. And that, my friends, is it. I'm going to let this sit in the sun, but now you have a general idea of how I would go about cleaning my RC. This applies to almost all RCs. I would uh, be careful with water around most RCs, but if you want to get in there with a toothbrush kind of like that, that's the kind of person I am, or with the, with the uh, air compressor nozzle, you can go in there and certainly do that. I'm going to let this dry for 24 hours because I know it's going to be nice and sunny outside, and when it's dark, it'll be in my warm shop. So every Everything should be good. Guys, hopefully this helps you out. Uh, of course, proceed at your own risk. Anything in the RC hobby is always unknown if you don't do it right. But that is how I clean my tracks a slash four by four. Uh, no pressure washer today, my friends. Just a normal garden hose. I'm not forcing water in past the bearing seals or anything. And there you go. So if you like, click and subscribe. You know the routine. You can follow along with updated RC adventures and keep yourself in the no. <laughs> See you next time, guys. Thanks for tuning in.